okay, here's the situation. You have either an iPhone X or iPhone 8, maybe even an iPhone 7. You're trying to transfer the files off of your iPhone onto your computer, PC, or Mac, and you get this error. A device attached to the system is not functioning. Now, sometimes you could transfer files, like your pictures would transfer fine, but it's the video files, and it would seemingly be video files that are like over 500 megs. So the way you fix this is tap on settings, go to photos, and then once you're in photos, you'll scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see transfer to Mac or PC. It'll be on automatic. So tap on keep originals and then you'll be able to transfer files up to however big it is. You won't get that same error anymore. Now there's a catch though. See automatic is nice because it'll convert the pictures to JPEG or whatever the pictures are in. But if you switch it to keep originals, it's going to, con it's going to leave it in like the iPhone format and you'll have all these files that are dot H E I C and some programs are not compatible with H E I C. And I think about this, these are going to be your photographs and you may have some, I mean, now obviously you could always save it as a JPEG, like make a copy of it and then just rename it to JPEG. But that H E I C won't natively always be viewable and also the video files when you put it on keep originals they'll all transfer you know even huge things over 500 megs but they'll be in this like special codec and i had to download a program from the microsoft store or maybe i installed like a, a codec to play it but it's originally not uh like native to i guess uh, the video player and also some video editing programs have problems editing it. Not all, but some. So just keep that in mind. You'll be able to transfer it by putting it to keep originals, but there are some caveats to that. And just keep that in mind if you do it. Uh, I have it set that way. I may switch it back for the photographs because it's a little annoying, but uh, the videos, it's nice to be able to transfer and not get that error anymore. So I'm happy to discover this technique. If this worked for you, let the people in the comment section know. Also let us know any, um, I don't know, things that you've encountered after doing this. Thanks for watching Tech Nuba. We'll see you in the next video.